Hi everybody, Lori here from Unique in the Creek. How is everybody? Nobody's here yet. I thought I would just come on because I've been talking about using a bag sealer to cut deco mesh. And hi Belinda. Um, now I did it once. I did get the idea from Cheryl Renault. Hi mom. Um, about using the bag sealer and it got my curiosity. So, so I thought I would try it. So I ordered one because I didn't want to try, uh, get you guys to like order one because they're, they're, you know, they're not the cheapest. So I thought I'd order one just to see, um, if the, what the hype was about. And I was quite, quite pleased with, hi Jeannie from Vancouver. Hi everybody. Hi everybody. How are you? Dave and Lolly are upstairs. I just came downstairs to, uh, do a quick live um, to do the bag sealer because my respirator came, but I have to move the bird out of the room. Hold on. Cause I don't want the bird exposed to this. Okay. Yeah, so I don't have the dogs. Hi, everybody. Um, oh, yeah. Um, yeah, I don't want the animals exposed to any of this because this is very, very toxic, guys. Mm -hmm. This burning of plastic. Now, like I said, I tried it once, and oh, my God, I cannot believe people are doing this with a wood burner. It just it blows my mind. Um, even though there was very little smoke coming off when you were using the bag sealer, um, after about three or four pieces, I could feel it in my lungs and my eyes started to burn. Um, and the smell is just atrocious. So that plastic you are burning, it's just like with, with rubber tires, you know, when they have a fire, um, they evacuate cities. Guys, don't do without a respirator, please. Or even outside, it's gotta be outside. Okay. Or you use a cheap respirator. Now they're not really expensive. Um, I posted the one I got is a little more expensive than the one I posted uh, but the one I posted on Lori's tools is just fine it's for um, the uh, odors that you need the, the OVC class and it is for the just hold on one second. I can't read. It's for the, the gaseous vapors. Um, just seeing what this one. Now this one I bought is, like I said, a little more expensive than the one I recommended on my... Uh, yeah, it's for the organic vapors. And um, it's like for chlorine, hydrogen chloride, sulfide. So anything in that category... This is what plastic is, and it's carcinogenic, okay? I know you guys can only see half of me. I'm on my phone right now. Um, so this is why I did not want to demonstrate how to do this without my respirator, because I'm not going to teach you guys to do it without uh, wearing proper personal protection. And, like, I, I've been in the research industry for 25 years, and I've seen some nasty crap, and you guys, just don't do it. Frays are not worth it. Get yourself a respirator, even for cutting burlap. You know this will. Uh, ha it's got a HEPA filter in it, so it'll it'll take the particles out of the air, so you don't uh, breathe those particles in for the burlap. You may look funny, but you're thank you. <laughs> Hi Gary, you'll thank me um, when you have more days in your life. I swear to God, that one roll of mesh I cut with this uh, bag sealer probably took a week of my life off. Anyways, um, I got extra filters. I probably will not need these because we're not using, I'm not going to be using this a ton, but um, you can tell when it gets dirty, you'll see particles in there. Um, so I just grabbed extra cartridges um, just when, so I have them when it, if it ever does get dirty, especially if I'm going to be using burlap, which I doubt, but um, so 
I got a respirator and I also got goggles. I found when I was um, doing the bag sealer, it really made my eyes burn and itch and everything. Even my skin was crawling, but there's nothing to do about that. I got long sleeves on. So, um, sorry, I'm going to turn it towards the bag sealer soon. Anyways, so the bag sealer that I bought was from Amazon. And I got a 16-inch one because I wanted it bigger than 12, but I didn't need it, you know, bigger than 16. So I, I just got a 16 one. There's various size ones. I found the 16-inch one is perfect for what I need it for. Good day. Hi, everybody. So I'm just going to do this quick. I got a different kind of mesh here that we're going to try. And, um, and then I'm going to stop, and then we're going to go upstairs and bake. Well, Dave's going to start baking while I change because... I feel yucky after I, I do this. I don't know. It's just, I don't it's in the air. But anyways, this particular bag sealer that I bought is on my uh, Lori's Tools on our website. Uh, and I got it on Amazon. It wasn't a bad price. And it does come with extra strips, heat strips and everything. Um, and when you need to change it. So it was pretty cool. And I really, really do like the results. But I really did not like the smell. So, get yourself a respirator, and uh, and then you're all good. I'm going to drink, have a little sip of my little cocktail here. Okay, so respirator. I'll just give you a quick how-to with your respirator. It's not hard. Um, your respirator will come with the cartridges already on it. And then to take them off, you just twist it, and they come off, and then you can pop it open, and you change this filter thing inside, almost like a vacuum cleaner. And it's a HEPA filter in there. Okay, take my glasses off. And uh, I wore goggles. I was just wearing my normal glasses, and my eyes were still itching, so I actually got goggles. Now, in the one I uh, posted on my website, it comes with the respirator and goggles, and it's actually a pretty good price. I, I wish I had seen that one before I bought these, but so I made sure that the specifications on that one that I did post on my website is good for um, cutting the mesh, so you guys are good to go. And I think it's only like 25 bucks, so it's the best 25 bucks you can spend if you're going to be doing this, okay? So I'm going to look very funny. First, I'm going to put my respirator on, and it's quite easy. There's a mask that will fit snug over your nose and your mouth. And then there's a headpiece, and that's gonna go over your head. And then these two snaps go around your neck, okay, to um, keep it snug. You want it snug around your face. And then your goggles, they have like a, a seal as well, so the, um, the, the deter, deter um what are they called the particles don't get into your eyes they're almost like ski glasses but they they suck they suck your face in okay wear them <laughs> first i'm going to put my respirator on now i'm going to switch this no first i'll put my respirator on then i'll take it off so i can talk about the um the uh bag sealer okay so you're just going to put this over your face let me lift this up a bit sorry guys Okay, put this on, and then you're just going to take your headpiece and put it over top. Now, I've already fitted it, but if you need to fit it, you're going to pull these. I feel like an airline attendant. You're going to pull these tight, okay? And then this is going to go around the back of your neck, okay? And it will fit really snug on your face. And to tell if you're snug, if you... Put your hand over top of this part and blow out. You shouldn't really be able to blow out. And if you put your hands over here and you try to suck in, uh, you shouldn't really be able to suck in. Okay, so that's how you know you have a good seal around your face. And then you just hook it. Just like that. Okay, I'm good. <laughs> okay. So that's how you put the respirator on. And then you just put your goggles on, and then you can pull them tight so they're snug. So I'm going to switch this around so you can see the bag sealer. Okay. Now the bag sealer 
doesn't get hot. There it is right there. So what I've done, okay. So I have my mat and I put the bags here. Look, it's not hot. It's not hot until you press it down. And on the end here, there's a temperature, a temperature thing that when you push it down, it'll emit a red light. And I got it just on the highest heat. And you can see some of the smoke coming off from just some of the plastic that's on there from the last when I used it. And it stinks. Oh, my God. Whew. Okay, so, and then I have my mesh roller right behind it. So I have my mat butt up right against the bag sealer. Now, when I pull it out, if I want to cut a 10-inch piece, I'm going to cut it at nine inches because it'll give that inch for going up okay and you just line it up now I'm just gonna put this on so what we're gonna do oh I put it upside down sorry this is mesh that doesn't have any um, this is actually the pink mesh I used underneath the plaid last night that you guys didn't see but um, it's got no metallic or anything in it it's just a simple plain value mesh okay so it should probably cut it really easy and then I got uh, a metallic mesh we'll try I also got a, a jute I want to try and see if it cuts through the jute mesh and I got a fabric mesh I guess I should have got a poly burlap I'll run and get a poly burlap in a second okay so what you're gonna do is you're going to we're gonna pull this out so first thing I think I'm, you'll want to do is burn the very edge here, right here, so we get a clean edge, and then we're going to pull this out to nine inches, and then press it down. Now I'm going to do this, put my respirator on, so I'm going to sound funny. <laughs> Luke, I am not your father. <laughs> yeah, it's so funny. All right. My PPE is on. That's personal protective equipment. Okay. So what you're going to do is just going to hold this down. And the light comes off. And it's burned the edges. That's a piece of plastic. Woo! Okay, now, if you can smell anything, readjust. If you can smell anything, you readjust your respirator, okay? I can't smell anything. So I'm going to bring it to nine inches and hold it down. There we go. That is a surged edge. There's no phrase. Okay, going to bring it down again. Nine inches. And you can hear the, you can hear it go off. You are not going to have any, you're not going to have any phrase. I know, Janice. I want to teach you guys how to use it right, though. I want you to live. Okay. Isn't that great? So there's no. And it cuts a perfectly straight line. Awesome, eh? Let's see. I'm just, I'm just a little over 10. So if you take an inch, so if you want. You can cut it, Georgia, but I there is a lot of people that are using wood burners because they don't like the phrase, and I don't like the phrase either, but I just deal with it. And I'm showing you guys the proper way to do it, okay? It doesn't cost a lot of money, and you, uh, you'll, you'll thank me. Trust me. Okay. So, that is just normal mesh. Okay, 
So now I'm going to use mesh with uh, the metallic in it. So this really is nice. Like there is no fray at all and it's kind of singed the edges. But you can't really tell. I really like it. But like I said, it stinks to high heaven and it's toxic. But people want to do it so I'm going to show you guys the proper way to do it. Okay, so this is metallic. We'll just get that get my thing back on again. Now, this doesn't com it doesn't completely cut the metallic. But that's easy trimmed. But the actual part that frays is singed at the end. Oh, perfect. There we go. No fray. And this doesn't get hot. So it's not hot. Whew! You can smell it though. Holy man. Okay, so that is the metallic. So let's try the jute. Now, jute is like a burlap, so I don't know if it's going to burn this or if it's going to catch on fire. So. <laughs> Dave, if you're watching, get the extinguisher. <laughs> okay, hold on. Okay. Well, it did cut a line, so I guess it's easy to go right straight down the line with your scissors, and it'll still prevent a fray, I guess. Let me try it again. Try it twice. Well, almost. I don't think that'll fray. That doesn't look like it's going to fray. So, I think it'll work. It just gives you a little bit. You have to do a little bit more work with this one. But it does make a line and it does... It does melt the plastic, which is the part that actually frays. So, it's a little bit more work, but I think it's still worth it. Especially for the flowers, if you're making sunflowers and stuff. Alrighty. Whew. Okay, I'm going to try, I'm going to go grab a roll of poly burlap, even though I hate the stuff. But I'm going to try it, because maybe with this, I'll learn to love it. Hold on one second. Okay, I got a really pretty purple here. Now, this is what everybody goes crazy for. This is poly burlap. I don't know why they call it, because it's not burlap. It's just big, thick pieces of plastic. There's no burlap in it whatsoever. But you can see how thick the roll is. And it's really big weave. But it frays like crazy. But it does make a pretty flower. And everybody loves to use it. And everybody's wood burning. What's the matter? It's 8 o'clock. I'm supposed to be taking Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just doing one more thing. 
We're trying poly burlap. Okay. Oh, where's my respirator? You need to go upstairs. I'll be up in a sec. Go. I'm burning the, prop, the plastic. I know. Nice shirt. Thank you. Okay, let's try this. Look at that. All right, let's pull it out. Oh, there might be hope. There might there might be hope for me liking Polly Burlap. That worked out perfect. One more. I think we have a winner. I may just be able to love Polly Burlap. I'm not too sure, but this looks pretty positive. Okay, I want to try one more, and then Dave's upstairs getting ready for baking. He's making his maple tarts, and nobody has gotten the recipe. So, you guys are lucky, and I am making sex in a pan. Yes, that's what I said, sex in a pan. Or, if you have, like, snooty guests, you can call it heaven in a pan. Okay, let's try one more. This is fabric mesh. Still has plastic in it. It does have like fabric fibers in it. Again, we may catch the house on fire. But again, this doesn't get hot. Okay, there we go. Is not gonna fray perfect it's kind of it's crisp so you know it's not gonna fray and it didn't burn the house down so I think we have a winner I think I'm really loving this so just push it down you don't even have to give it any and it's like two seconds and then it's done um, when you're done you might want to wipe off I got some Clorox wipes, and then I, I like to, when I even when I was wearing a respirator at work, I would always make sure and wipe down my respirator because the particles from the plastic will be settling on your respirator. So you just get some Clorox wipes and wipe down your respirator, and you're ready to go for next time. Okay, well, I'm alive. And I'm going to make you guys alive. <laughs> um, you would have to get uh, the bigger one, Tammy, if you wanted to cut 21-inch mesh. I never use 21-inch mesh, and I don't know why you would want to cut 21-inch mesh. But if you do want to cut 21-inch mesh, then yes, you'd need a bigger one. Um, that's it. That's all I got for you. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. And uh, please be safe. If you do use the bag sealer, spend the $25 on the respirator set please and you your eyes won't burn your lungs won't burn it trust me okay yes this is 16 inches wide the link and all the the link for this and the respirator that um, I looked up for you guys is on my website under Lori's tools and yeah I'm gonna unplug but it turns off by itself it doesn't work until you're pressing it down okay um, yeah that's it. Okay. So if you guys want to get ready for flower season, this is what you're going to need. But make sure you get a respirator because I love you guys. Okay. 
We'll see you in a bit. We're going to bake some goodies. Bye, guys.